real answer to Medicare would be a two thousand dollar deductible. Rand Paul got in a lot of fire for saying that by even hinting that there was a time when he might uh, entertain raising the Medicare deductible. Uh, all of a sudden, his opponent make a quick hay of that. Uh, so we wanted to get the skinny directly from Rand Paul himself because uh, Rand, it did sound like a bit of uh, sort of tough love to deal with a, a program that is knee deep in debt. Was it? Did you stand? Was and do you stand by what you said? Well. I I think the first thing to understand is that we can't change the rules on those currently receiving either Medicare or Social Security. But I think it's also analogous to the problem like an alcoholic has. You have to at first admit you have a problem. We have a problem in Social Security and in Medicare. When the programs were started, particularly when Social Security was started, we had 42 workers and one retiree. For many years, we had seven workers and one retiree. Now we're at three workers, one retiree. We're headed towards a point where there'll be one worker and one retiree. This year, for the first time, we're spending more than we take in in Social Security. Most younger people acknowledge the rules will have to change for eligibility for younger people. So but what I'm you had said that... I'm about changing it for people who are currently on Medicare oh, okay. or he, currently he, on Social then Security. That's what I want to make clear. That your opponent in his ad cited those comments from some time back as a sign that you're going to be, a, I guess, a Medicare wrecker. Um, what do you say to that? Well, I'd say we need to have an adult discussion in our country between serious people and not people who want to demagogue an issue. I'm not, cha I'm not talking about changing the deductible on anyone who gets Medicare currently, but I am saying then younger on who? people... Then on who? younger people, probably 55 and under. The Debt Commission is looking at this now to see exactly what age we need to change it. But the longer we wait, the more the system becomes broken. We need to go ahead and say we will reform the system, we will fix the system, because what we don't want is a chaotic situation where we don't have any money and we continue to borrow the money from China. You know, Ren, when I talk to a lot of Republicans about we're going to get a handle on spending, and we're going to get a handle on these entitlement programs. They normally don't give you specifics. They normally don't tell you what they're going to do about Social Security, just that we have to rein it in. Uh, yeah, and they, back in. I know they dropped something there. But uh, anyway. I think they, we they, lost our audio for a minute there. Are we back? Can you hear me? Did we lose Rand Paul? Okay, well, that's not good. Uh, all right, just to update you on what the controversy has been about and what we've been mentioning on this show is a lot of the candidates, uh, Republican and Democrat, talk in broad strokes about cutting back on spending. Um, but when it comes to specifics, uh, both sides don't offer them. I think uh, Rand Paul back with us. You offered one specific, and you've almost like gotten electrocuted for it. Do you regret it? Well, offering solutions. Now, I think people are ready for honest politicians who will say we have problems and try to figure out solutions. For too long, we've had politicians that just pander and say, oh, we'll continue to bring you home the bacon. We'll bring everything home to you. There are no problems. There are serious budgetary problems in our country, and we need people who will stand up like adults, admit to the problems, and try to fix these problems, not on the backs of current senior citizens, but on the next generation that comes forward, let's try to fix it in a very gradual way that will not be painful to those coming forward. And that, it sounds like a logical solution, I think, about Democrats and Republicans, but it's demagogue by both Democrats and Republicans. You go out on a limb and propose something for the long-term fiscal soundness of Medicare, just like Marco Rubio toyed with the idea of raising the retirement age in Florida, of all places, for Social Security, gets electrocuted for saying it when he did a couple of months ago. You're getting probably hit in the polls for this comment in Kentucky, although you're both in relatively good shape. But what, what's to stop well, Republicans? But wait a minute. What's to stop Republicans from saying, don't go there. Don't offer specifics. We're killed when we do. <laughs> Uh, believe me, we do get advice not to do interviews and not to be overly candid. But the thing is, you have to be candid. The country's in trouble, and we have to be candid that the debt is enormous, getting bigger. And I didn't create the problem. We had a lot of baby boomers born after World War II, and they're all getting ready to retire. We have to figure out how to fix the system. Well, has anyone in so the party leadership have Social Security? Has anyone in the party leadership no. plan told you no specifics, keep it pie in the sky, general? 
It's not so much that. It's so much that I think politicians in general are very circumspect. And I think that's what this election, for the first time, I think people will offer some real solutions to these serious problems and not be too afraid to do so. Yeah, but Republicans have the rap we for have problems. No, no, but Republicans have the rap for criticizing the Democrats. But when it comes to fine tuning their own attack plan, they don't. So what's to stop voters from saying, hey, you guys are just as wishy washy as the party you're dumping? <laughs> Well, I do tell people that when we were in charge, we doubled the debt. Now the Democrats are tripling the debt. And that it is important what kind of Republicans you elect. Just any old Republicans may not do. But I think you'll see in the crop of candidates who are winning the primaries, these are people who are coming out of the Tea Party who truly believe that the debt is a problem and I think are serious about fixing it, who will also seriously say Social Security has a problem in the future. How do we fix it without jeopardizing those currently on it? Rand, good seeing you. Rand Paul, a uh, Republican senatorial candidate in Kentucky. As always, we call his opponent. We've not heard back, but we always call. We wait and see.